plays well, he studies well, becomes a good human being first because that's a prerequisite what he wants to become in future. Actually, not at this either. I'll just leave to him. Yeah, I expect her to be very happy. Little boxes on the hillside, little boxes made of ticky tacky, little boxes on the hillside, little boxes all the same. There's a pink one and a green one, and a blue one and a yellow one, and they're all made out of ticky tacky, and they all look just the same. I want to go to office to become a photographer, hmm? basketball player. I want to become an artist or an author. See, workshops always trigger a new point, a new perception to look at, and uh, a new way of thinking. And what what we might think and what our teachers might teach would be uh, completely uh, reframed by a workshop. What we talk now, you know, 21st century communication skills is the key and how we talk and how we represent ourselves and uh, it's just not the language, it's about the body, the way you understand, the way you receive, the way you um, give back to another person what he's talking. I think it's all, it's all dance. I did my Kathak earlier and after which I did theatre and post which I went to Germany to study dance teaching program. I wanted to facilitate um, a thinking program where students are allowed to creatively create whatever they want to and come up with their own themes and then sort of help them compose uh, their own work and sort of uh, make them understand and take them closest to the definition of dance and choreography. The whole process at Sanskriti was to really make them more uh, independent rather than being dependent on somebody who would lead them and that's how leaders are created where we facilitate in a group and then the group activities are uh, interrogated and somebody within the group then structures how the group would look like. It was also my idea to start with rhymes and poems and uh, texts that we, they were familiar with so that if not the dance, at least within the structure they had something that they were used to having. And I think that sort of reduces the inhibitions of participation. But I think that also questions how does one uh, represent what we've been conditioned to do. And I think that was the whole challenge of why uh, this was needed. So making it very, very self-sufficient, whether it's dance, or whether it is any subject that they want to do, I think it's mostly about using uh, these kind of tools to making them uh, independent human beings today. Actually, I felt a little scared yesterday, but now I'm very excited uh, to learn. After some time, I'm new to school and at the first day of the year, I was very excited because of the lunch. Are we ready? Yes, sir! Let's see teachers now. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes, sir! 
Yeah, definitely. I think they could understand themselves very well. They could understand what they actually want, how they need to express themselves. And uh, what is the space and freedom given to them to express themselves? All these things they understood very well. Are we ready? Yes! Good! Jumping on the bed, one fell down and broke his head. Mama called the doctor. Doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed, one fell down and broke his head. Mama called the doctor. Doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and broke his hand. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and broke his hand. Mama called the doctor. Doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and broke his leg. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell down and broke his leg. Mama called the doctor. Doctor says, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Found a peanut. Found a peanut. Found a peanut just now. I am eating. I am eating. I am eating just now. Stomach aching, stomach aching, stomach aching just now. Call a doctor, call a doctor, call a doctor just now. Operation, operation, operation just now. No, no doctor, no, no doctor, no, no doctor just now. Once upon a time, there were two kings. They loved to dance. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How is the kingdom? Good. How is yours? It's good. Do you know in my kingdom there was a tank for them help? And I want it. Do you know dance? Yeah. You know the types of dance forms? Yes, I know. They are classical, western and folk dances. Do you know our dances are the best dances in the world? No, our dances are the best dances. No. No our dances are the best. No our dances are the best. No our dances are the best. Good afternoon, my highness. Keep calm. This will be known that whole dances are the best by a dance competition. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. You and I agree.
These are my dancers. These are my dancers. Now they will perform a classical dance. perform a western dance So the moral of the story is we should never underestimate others because we are only not the one who can do better things but there are more people who can do better than us and the moral of the story is this also that we have to appreciate others thank you Sun hot, hasn't rained, no water, walked miles, but water's mud, rivers dry, can't bath, can't drink, brown grass, no grass. skeleton step from cracked earth and then one morning without a warning 
the sound of rain a stranger tapping pitter pattering onto a rooftop into a pit giving birth to streams filling a river feeding the cattle feeding the cattle the sound of rain the sound of rain we are a smiling we are a smiling we are a smiling we are a smiling kitchen fire as bold as bold can be but never a sound hear she the next morning the troublesome ghost goes away but who oh, what a sight the poor wife sees when she gets up next day <laughs> 